Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at a young lady from Uniwigs. Her name is Roxy and this is what she looks like and I have her in the exact same color that you see her here, so stay tuned. everyone welcome back my name is Coco and this is Coco's Hair Solutions today we're looking at a synthetic hair wig by the name of Roxy she is provided to us from Uniwix so thank you so much to Grace at Uniwix for giving me this young lady to, to review for you she is a shoulder length bob about 14 inches long got those loose wavy curls on her and we're going to take a look at her but I wanted to show you how she comes to us you're going to get her in a bag like this. It's a nice, substantial, thick velvet bag. And then yet inside again, we have another bag. She's in here. So you can see the color here. Let's go ahead and take her out. Now in her description, we're told that she is a 13 by 13 inch lace cap and front. So let's take a look at that. 13 by 13. So she goes all the way down to the ear tab area, all the way across the front all the way down to the other side as well. In fact, it looks like it's just beyond the ear tabs. So we also have a, a monofilament top area that goes about midway to the crown. And then of course, we've got stitched in wefts everywhere around the cap itself. The cap is, I'm told in the description is 22 inches. So that would, be nice and comfortable. I find that these kinds of caps generally fit a little snug. So we will we will see what this is going to be. Okay, let's take a look at some more of the features of the cap. She has some buckle adjusters on the right and left of an extended closed nape. There are no ear of uh, metal stays in this nape. And in the area where there should be a ear tab, there is none but there are clips right here. So I'm assuming that this is either going to go into any, some bio hair that you might have right there in that um, sideburn area, or it's going to slip under your wig grip band. Um, we'll just have to see how that's gonna work, okay? And then of course, you can see all this, the hair rows stitched to the cap all the way around, all right? Now, we were, are going to have to trim this lace off of the front, but I want to put her on the mannequin so that we can look at the body of the wig. Okay. Okay. So here she is. She's got some beautiful body waves all the way around. Looks like a very, very nice, um, cool blonde, but it still has some warm undertones to it. She definitely has to have the lace trimmed across the front and she has a, an already pre-tweezed or a pretty, pretty well distinct um, center part right here in the front. So if you would like to have instructions on how to how to trim this lace, I'm going to go ahead and put my um, tag up there for my video on how to do that. And in the meantime, I'm going to go off screen and trim this lace up so that we can put her on, right? Okay, I went ahead and trimmed all the way around. Uh, you want to be sure and leave about an eighth of an inch of the lace so that it has um, the opportunity to, to blend with your skin. And it looks as though this was meant to be glued down because of the way that it contours around the sideburn area and the um, down in front of the ears. It looks like it's got a really wonderful hairline. We're going to take a look at that when we get it on. And um, I think that's the next step is we got to put her on, okay? What I have on today happens to be a wig by Paula Young. She is a discontinued young lady, and I'm sorry to report that. Her name is Nellie, and I've done a review on her. Nonetheless, if you want to take a look at her, I'll put the tag right up here in the corner. But for now, let's go ahead and try on Roxy. Okay, this is Roxy. I'm going to pull her up to my hairline. How's that look? Just at first glance, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? And then we're gonna need to, and this, oh, this is definitely something that will need to be glued down. And that would not necessarily, 
be one of my personal choices, but the hairline does look very nice. So if I pull this forward, you can see the hairline. It's been, it's very natural looking. And the cap is, um, it is small. So for a 22 inch circumference, it doesn't, the cap itself doesn't come down very far and it's creeping up on me. I'm going to take the comb in the back and put it underneath my wig grip band. And I'm going to feel for the clips here and they are going under my wig grip band on both sides, which does pull the wig a little bit more forward onto my hairline but it still won't lay down flat if I pull my hair back. So let me do a real quick spin for you, okay? This is Roxy in the color YL2335. That's their designation of the color. She is synthetic. How does she look? She looks like she moves well. Yeah. Yeah, she does. She uh, The fibers feel nice. They say that they are heat friendly up to 200 and uh, 320 degrees um, Fahrenheit. She's at 130% density. So she doesn't feel that that dense really to find uh, to to be truthful. Um, if she's described as a shoulder length bob, 14 inches long, uh, wavy blonde with dark roots. Um, this is, okay, her SKU number is tw SL2335. So it's that SKU number is the same thing as the color number. So apparently this is the only color that this wig comes in. She does feel good. She lays nice and flat. Let's see. So how's that look for the part? The fabric that the um, lace front is made out of, this is what I trimmed off. It's nice and sturdy and it has a little bit of give. So that would be really nice. And it looks like it's that HD, um, HD lace front that melts into any skin tone. So it really is um, a, a made well in that respect. But if you don't really want to have a lace front that you have to be um, concerned with the lace lifting, then this may not be the, the right wig for you. Now, I bet we could take um, our uh, hot air brush or blow dryer, turn the wig upside down, and make it so that these hair fibers don't lay so completely flat like they were ironed from the top. We can lift them a little bit off the scalp and have them um, let them have a little bit more mobility from the scalp area. But that doesn't look bad on the top there, does it? So if I went ahead and, and we're going to wear this, I could easily treat the, the sides of my sideburn. I could use the um, lace front and accentuate that and just leave the rest of this sitting down. Let's, let's just put a little clip up there and just see what this looks like. So that's, that's even doable, isn't it? Very, very nice. You know, if you like that length, of course, if it's too long, you can always trim it or give it a little bit more of a blunt cut. It looks like it's got razor cut edges or point cutting on the edges, but it feels very nice. She is a cute little wig, isn't she? Yeah, I like her. I do. And this is such a cute color with a long root and very trendy, isn't it? And here is another option that's available to us because of the extended lace. I took even more of this hairline coming down in front of my ear, past my temple to my cheekbone and pulled that back. And look at the natural appearance of this. So if you really like having a little bit more um, hair pulled away from your face, this is certainly an option. And if you do glue it down, you can make sure that you could even pull this all the way back if you, if you had this all the way glued down. 
So that, that, that's another extended option for this particular young lady because of the extended lace. Okay, this is what she looks like in outdoor lighting. It's a beautiful sunny day here in the Pacific Northwest and the light is being filtered through the large sp spruce trees in my backyard. So this is the color YL2335 from Uniwigs. Very pretty, isn't she? Okay, let's take her back inside. So after playing with my hair dryer and getting those fibers to lift up, it just looks a lot better, doesn't it? It looks more natural. The hair fibers come up. They look like they've been styled. So don't let that be a lesson that these girls that come to us, um, they just need a little bit of coaxing and they'll be your best friend from there on out. So enjoy your wigs. Well, that's going to do it for our girl, Roxy from Uniwigs. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this was helpful for you. You guys have a great week. I will see you next time in Coco's Hair Solutions. Bye-bye.